Welcome back, Lightning Brigade. Today we'll talk about the newest four star and one of the prettiest, Yunjin. Today's video will consist of roles, talents, weapons, artifacts, cons, teams, and maybe a comparison or just a damage showcase today. If you enjoy this guide, be sure to like and subscribe and join me on Twitch. There you can catch me live, ask me about any sort of team comps, builds, or anything else, or just come hang out with us. Without a moment to waste, let's get into this. Yujin's role is as a support. She's used to buff other characters' normal attacks by using her burst. Yunjin, being a Geo character, doesn't necessarily need to be run with Geo characters. She actually gets buffs based off running her with other types of units, which makes Yunjin a very interesting unit to use in different team comps. You can say her position is a little bit of a flex pick, but speaking about elemental diversity, let's go into her talents. So when it comes to Yunjin's talent priority, it first starts off with her burst and to her skill. But before we get into that, let's first go back into our elemental diversity. What you'll see from Yunjin's passive ability is that her burst is now boosted based off the amount of different characters you have in the party. It can go up from 2.5% of her defense, 5% of her defense, 7.5% of her defense, or 11.5% of her defense. This correlates to how many different element types are in her party. And then her other passive, which is less important, allows you to get a perfect counter, basically, like with Beidou. As long as you're blocking at the exact time you use her skill, you'll be good. Speaking of her skill, her skill literally works exactly like Beidou's. The only caveat or difference between her and Beidou's E is that her E charges up the entire time to get to max damage. While she's currently in this state, she is shielding herself, so she won't take any damage unless they reach the threshold of HP that the shield has. This counter move has really good scaling, and you can just charge up to level 2. You don't have to get it precise like with Beidou. You also don't have to be taking damage in order to charge it up completely. Now, speaking of the most important part of Yunjin's kit, we have her burst. So you can see here at talent level 7, her burst gives you 48% of her defense and damage increase. Now, this talent only works for normal attacks. So, characters like Yuemiya, Razor, and other characters that depend on their normal attacks will see a buff. This does not work for charge attacks, however. This, like Shinha's buff, has a set number of hits that will be buffed. So, you only have 30 hits after Yunjin does her burst of boosted damage. Like I said in the Shinha video, it's like Yunjin is handing her whole team a very special sword that only lasts for 30 swings. Because she has so much trigger quota, you do get a lot more time with her. Unlike Shinha, who only has 5 and 7, Yujin's buff damage can last you a lot longer. The amount of quota is what makes her a very good unit for somebody like Yuemiya. If you're a Yuemiya main, you're gonna really want this character. The other best thing about Yunjin's burst is it applies to all your character's normal attacks. So as you can see, I applied on Ayaka and Kutching, Electro and Cryo Infusion, and it worked. There is an increase of damage for both. You can tell the effect is over once the flags go away off your characters. Without further ado, let me show you some of the differences in my DPS damage. So as you can see from both my DPS, they had an increase about over 2,000. Ayaka's increase is a bit more substantial, I think because of her attack, but Kutching also received a nice increase as well, which is the reason why a character like Yoimiya, who does a lot of damage within about 12 seconds, gets a pretty sizable buff from a character like Yunjin. She's one of the characters that can attack so rapidly that she can use most of the buff. Yunjin does very well with characters that can attack quite rapidly. Her addition to the team is quite simple and understandable, but even more simple is her weapon choices. So the weapon that we're going to recommend first is the Favonius Lance. Just like Shinha, because she's a support unit and because there's no spears based off of defense, she really just needs the energy recharge to make sure that her buff comes back. What we're trying to do is make sure that we keep up her buffs uptime. So weapons like Favonius Lance, 
engulfing lightning, which would have the same effect uh, and higher energy recharge. The issue with the catch, again, is you might be using it for a character like Shun Ling, who's going to get way more damage out of it, or the prototype Star Glitter, which is what I currently have on Earth, just because Shin Ha and Rosaria are also using the Favonius Lance. Come in handy because they give more energy recharge to her as a character, and her burst energy cost is only 60, so it's less than Shin Ha's. With low energy costs like that, it makes the weapons quite effective. Yunjin's artifacts are also quite simple. Seeing that Yunjin only wants two things, more defense or energy recharge, it makes our choices in her artifact sets quite simple. The first set that gives a lot of defense, also with the passive that gives a lot of defense that works very well for her, is the Husk of Opulent Dreams. The 4 piece set basically says you'll get a buff to your defense every time she's out for 3 seconds. So if you just throw her in with her ult and then just leave her out for the whole 12 seconds, you'll get her maximum stacks of extra defense and geo damage, but we only need the defense. Another set you could add on to this is the Defender's Will. If you're kind of an early game and don't have all 4 pieces, you can do a 2 piece Husk, 2 piece Defender's Will. And last Lastly, if you need some energy recharge, you can go two-piece husk and then have two-piece emblem of severed fate. As for the pieces themselves, obviously HP, obviously attack, but for the next three, all defense pieces. What we're trying to do is maximize her defense. She's not one of those characters that are only boosted based off their base defense. All her defense helps. The only piece you might actually change is her time piece to give yourself more ER if your ER is low. Luckily, with Yunjin, her ascension talent is ER, so you are getting buffed already as it is, and her weapon is also buffing you at the same time. So in that regard, with the weapon and with her ascensions after leveling her a bit, you will most likely be okay. As for Shinha's constellations, I think these some of these are really fun. So, constellation 1 uh, decreases your cooldown for your skill, which is, you know, the obvious, like, oh wow, that's great. It allows you to get more energy back, which is the main purpose of this tool. Um, and it also possibly gives you another counter if you need it, but mainly it's you get an extra turn for energy. Constellation 2 is fun, because after you use your burst, your party will now get increased normal attack damage by 15% for 12 seconds. It is a very nice way just to get a little bit more attack for a low constellation. Constellation 3 is obviously just building up the burst. Constellation 4 gives you a buff in her defense after you crystallize, so you can go into your E, grab the crystal, and then get more defense off of her burst. Constellation 5 is another bonus. Constellation 6 also seems fun, since this buffs up your attack speed almost as much as Constellation 2 Gene, if I remember. Constellation 2 Gene's buff is 15%, and this is 12%, so you're gonna go a bit faster with your attacks while also being buffed for those same attacks. So you're, you might actually be able to use her 30 attack quota. Overall, I think her constellations are a very nice addition, just in general. I think this is boosting the character's purpose to a very good degree, and it's also letting her be very supportive to her other teammates. So I'm gonna keep team comps a bit brief. Just because the two DPS that I feel get the most value out of uh, Yoonjin, actually I think there's three DPS that get the most value out of her. Three DPS that get the most value out of her are DPS I don't currently have. So for right now, let's think of Amber as a replacement. Uh, I think if I was going to run Yoonjin with Yuimiya, I'd still be trying to work a firework comp in here somehow. I'm not completely sure. I've seen people run a three-piece Geo set before with her, because it seems that even though she won't get her full buff, if you use a character like Ito, his normal attacks will definitely still get buffed. So that's still good. However, do I think I'd run Goro over her? Probably. I think I'd still run my Goro Zheng Li with Ito first. However, the thing about Yunjin that makes her better, she's kind of a flex pick. Now, I don't use this team on Abyss yet, but I'm going to be trying some more teams out. I have boosted my Ayaka's normal attack twice as much with both Yunjin and Shinha, and unlike Shinha's, I get a little bit longer of a buff with Yunjin. So, when you have characters like this, this team could work with possibly an Anemo character, you swirl them all together, or maybe it'd be better off if you have Vaporize with this in your normal attacks. Again, she's still more of a flex pick, so her, her roles and teams can be a little bit easier. Um, a very good character that could work, and we're going to act like Shinchu was him for a second, is you could do something like this, Beto, or right in here. Um, and then probably a healer of some sort, because she gets better off with the uh, different elements. That does, that's not proving the point here. Here, just go Gene. 
different elements here. So let's say this is child. You have Beto or Raiden. Raiden will probably be a little bit better for child. And then you also have Yunjin. So now you can use his regular attacks, go crazy hack and slash with Yunjin also buffing his normals. I believe that should still work unless he scales differently than forget what I just said. Um, but that should still be okay. And then as for Razor, Razor's a weird one because I don't know what really buffs Razor, but I'm sure again, Razor possibly somebody who makes it a little easier for him to get superconduct. Uh, Yunjin, healer, bam, there you go. Uh, is this spiral ready? Not sure. Is this getting you across most of the game and bosses ready? Probably. So this should probably, of all cases, work. I think the team building around her isn't the most difficult, um, but if you're looking for a particular character, I would probably go Google, look into it. I've seen some people try to use Cutching with her. It was like this weird cryo Cutching comp. Um, I've seen people try to run other characters that are just normally aren't DPS, so like people have always been trying to do a bit more of DPS Rosaria, and this is like the one time it almost works. I think Rosaria, like max cap, can do about like 6,000 a swing on normal physical hits. So again, it's just learning what you're working with, and characters like this with the support are basically teaching you how to manipulate the game, which is a part that I really like about them, but let's save that to the end. So because I don't really have a team completely centered for Yunjin, I'm just going to show you the damage I did with the Yoi Mia during the event using my own Yunjin, not the trial Yunjin they give you. And you can see some of the damage Yoi Mia gets is DPS who can really use a character like this. Um, when I plan to pull for Yoi Mia when she has a rerun, I'll show you guys the amount of damage you can get from her from Bennett and from other characters as well, but hopefully you enjoy this a little bit. Without further ado, let's have a look. Time to go. Clouds high. The birds call. Strike is one. Feel the flint. So overall, Yunjin is a very good support unit. I'm happy they introduced to the game. For me, I think this is a very good thing that they have introduced characters that can add buffing to team comps because everybody just assumes everybody has a Bennett or a Sarah now lying around. Beforehand, it used to just be Bennett and Sucrose and then maybe Mona when you have her alt for Omen, but just pure buffing, we did not have that many. So whenever they introduce characters like Shinha, Sarah, um, or if they introduce another character like Bennett or Goro, I'm always happy to see them be a part of the game. As well, this character's aesthetics and everything else, she's very simple to build. She's an easy addition to the team. Her cons seem rewarding enough to me, especially because you get good cons off of C1 and C2. Uh, obviously, C6 was very nice, but you can still use C1 and C2 pretty easily. Um, builds won't be too complicated now that you understand and build videos. Using her with her burst isn't a very difficult thing, and you also have a lot of room for error with her burst, unlike Shinha, where Shinha is a more difficult character because her quotas are a lot shorter. Uh, here with Yunjin, you have that whole 30 quota to either get right or wrong. And I think after the first two times, you'll probably get it correct, if not the first time. But really hope Mahoya would bring in more characters like this. Again, while I tell you to pull for a four star, um, if you would like her, then yes. Uh, except if you don't want the five star on the banner, there's no such thing as building pity. Uh, wait. Uh, I think most of my friends have been getting decently lucky with her, but again, that's 
whether or not the gotcha system is going to reward you. However, if you are looking to build Shinha or you accidentally did get Shinha, I have a Shinha guide video that will be right after this part. And the moment I say don't leave, get right into there. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and that way you'll know when I get new guides out. Let me know what characters you might want to see a guide on next. There's a couple of DPS I'm willing to try. I just got Skyward Atlas recently, so I'm probably going to make a DPS named Guang, Lisa, and maybe Barbara video. Uh, Zhang Li and Gan Yu is coming back, so I'm planning to do some guides on how to build them, just in case you're curious about it, and I'll catch you all later. Remember, Lightning Brigade, don't leave!